Okay, I have here a uh, Raspberry and it's running on the Raspberry Pi. It's a Raspberry Pi B. I got a Wi Fi, USB hub, uh, earphones connected, HDMI, and power and uh, uh, SD card. And I'm going to show you how their uh, remote desktop, since there are so many limitations on the uh, Raspberry Pi, you can do a uh, remote desktop. And that's what I'm going to do, remote desktop to either a real PC or a, or a, a virtualized uh, desktop somewhere. And then what you want to do is install on, I have a, so the operating system is Raspberryan, Raspbian. And uh, all, you, all you do is uh, install our desktop, which is an apt get install. And it's R D E S K. Our desktop, which is right there. That's all you gotta type is um, app get install uh, our desktop, and then after a while it installs and um, so after it installs, you just type our desktop, and we have to just type a uh, tab twice. You just hit hit tab twice and it fills it on in for you. So our desktop and the first thing that happens, um, put in the IP which is so you put in the IP of the machine that you're trying to connect to, which mine is ten dot zero dot two dot five, and the port it's using is uh, five thousand nine. And there's my remote. Okay, so and that's still the, uh, the taskbar here from uh, the Raspbian. And so I'm just gonna exit out of there. And then you're gonna want to try uh, full screen. So you do the same uh, our desktop, and then the IP colon port, and then the option for full screen is F. So all you do is add the F to it, and you have full screen. So now you got this Windows XP full screen, no no borders, full screen. And you got the uh, start button here, the Windows XP start button. Now how do you get out of that? You hit Control Alt and Enter. So Control Alt Enter takes it out of the full screen, and in and out of the full screen that way. Control Alt Enter. Control Alt Enter. And you can exit out of there. So that's full screen. Uh, and then if you want sound, uh, do the same. And I'm going to do full screen again just so that I get the taskbar. And it's um, R for uh, to attach the uh, sound. Option R. Sound. And then. Uh, so if I want, I want the sound to go on my uh, local uh, desktop, so I would add just the option R, sound, colon, no space, and local, no space. And so when I adjust the sound, So you should have heard a beep. And again, uh, Control Alt Enter to get out of that full screen. And and then uh, there's another thing that uh, you might be interested in is the uh, clipboard. And you add another R, and you type in clipboard. Okay, I'll show you a little in a second. Let me just.
So R again and clipboard. And the option is all caps. Primary clipboard. Make sure I spell it right. So it's the same. You got our desktop IP colon uh, port number, and you can keep the sound local. If you got the option R, and then you could do it again. The option R again to uh, you could do it twice. So option R to to re to to redirect the uh, sound to your local machine, and then R again to redirect the clipboard to your local machine and back. So it it, it takes the clipboard from the remote. And brings it to your local, and then takes the local and puts it in the remote. So, so copy. paste so it's paste and then I'm gonna go the other way and uh, just gonna copy and paste okay so it's bi-directional clipboard uh, sound redirection and screen okay thanks for watching